Often when creating circuits involving MOSFETs or motor drivers, I happen to find a need for a temperature sensor to measure the temperature of my MOSFETs and a PWN generator to control the speed of my motors. So, I constantly had to design PWN generators using NE555. Apart from guesstimating the frequency of the signal using the given formulas in the data sheet, there was no way for me to know the precise frequency or the duty cycle of the signal. This not only generated a need for a PWN generator, but also a frequency counter. As an added bonus, I also wanted a way to measure the RPM of the motors. All of this persuaded me in creating this multi-purpose meter, which I have baptized as the TPFR meter. What does TPFR stand for? Well, TPFR stands for Temperature, PWM, Frequency and RPM meter. Initially, I started this project with the intention of creating an LCR meter based around the 8 mega 3 to 8p microcontroller. However, it did not take me long to realize that measuring inductance with just a resistor was not possible with the slow ADC of the 328p. More precisely, I could not figure out a way to do so. Plus, I didn't want to overcomplicate things. And couple this with the fact that there are already are cheap alternatives that can do so with this, I simply dropped this idea and instead went on creating something different to fit my other needs. This is how I started the TPFR meter project. Anyway, coming back to the project, I would like to describe how this was made, what components I used and how to use this device. The goal for this project was to create a small size meter that would measure temperature, frequency, RPM and generate PWN signals. Looking at the meter, the heart of this organization is the ever popular 8 mega 328p running at 16 MHz. This does all the processing, reading data from the sensors, controlling the peripherals such as temperature sensors and the LCD. The LCD is a generic 5 volt blue 16x2 character display. For temperature sensing, it uses a DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor. It communicates with the microcontroller via the one wire protocol developed by Dallas Semiconductor. For the frequency measurement, you simply need to pass a 5 volt input signal at this port. I will cover the layout and the usage soon. As for power, I wanted it to have a working voltage range of 8 to 18 volts so that it could be powered by a simple 9V battery or a 12V adapter. This is why it uses a 5V linear voltage regulator to step down the voltage. In my case, I power it with a 2S lithium ion battery. It can be powered by a voltage between 7 to the max the 7805 pin withstands. With the hardware side being covered, let's look at the user interface. A detailed pinout of this meter can be found on the GitHub repository for this project. I am going to give a brief presentation on how to use this meter. The meter uses a standard 9V battery connector to connect the battery. I will be using a 2S lithium ion battery to power it. Press the power switch on the right to start the meter. Once it's powered on, you will be greeted with the home screen slash menu page. The cursor on the right points to the current selected option. Use the up and down buttons to navigate through the menu. Press the enter button to enter the menu or option. Press the back button to exit from the current option. That's the basic on how to use the meter. However, Having a look at an example will provide a broader picture. Let's take the example of the PWM mode. Press the down switch to point the arrow at the PWM mode. Press enter to enter PWM mode. Now you will be greeted with the PWM frequency range menu. Let's select the first range by pressing enter. Now you will be presented with two options and those are frequency and duty cycle. By default, the frequency is set to the lowest value in the given range, while the duty cycle is set to 50. To change the default value, the frequency value in this case, press enter. Now the cursor shifts to the right hand side, implying that you are in the value edit mode. Press the up or down button to either increment or decrement the values in single steps, or long press the respective button to rapidly increase or decrease the value. Once you have set the desired value, press enter to save it, and the cursor moves back to the left hand side. The same steps are applicable for changing the duty cycle. This device has a frequency range from 31Hz to 100kHz. Now, for the temperature measurement, you must plug the temperature sensor into the female header on the left. Notice the pinout of the connector. Once you have connected the temperature sensor, select the temperature menu on the meter. This will display the temperature in degrees Celsius as well as Fahrenheit. The GitHub repository for this project contains a thorough documentation about the various functions and their ranges and limits, as well as it contains the code and schematic if you want to replicate this project. With that being said, we come to the end of this video. 
I will leave a link to this project's GitHub repository in the description below. Thank you for watching and in the next video we will be having a look at this Atmega 8 based self driving car.